Hello and happy Monday evening. Okay, so I got my Lether box. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, I was spoiled by Granny D, but that's okay because I like spoilers. Um, and then I will show you what I've gotten finished this week. Um, I'm not really working on anything right now. I haven't been crocheting like a fiend. Um, today I cleaned out a closet. I actually, I cleaned out the hall closet and above the washer and dryer and the dryer. So, um, did cl some cleaning and organizing today. Um, and Thanksgiving shopping. <laughs> so first I will show you my Lethe box. Okay, I just pulled the sticker off. I thought I heard some walker wheels <laughs> and thought the walker was headed my way. Oh my gosh! Oh, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this is. Turtle Bay. It's a sport weight, 100% superwash merino, 328 yards, 100 grams, and oh my wow, it is so pretty. So the hook just a Okay, so here's the hook and the colors in the hook are green and uh yellowy brown. I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say it's a tan. It's a two point two point two five hook. So cool. So there's the hook. And here is the stitch marker. And then, ooh, there's the card, and those are the patterns that come with it, the wristers and the um, coffee cozy. So I'm super excited, and I kind of have... Ooh. I forgot about the bed flat. So this is for your coffee cozy. This little a butterfly. There we go. Um, so that's that's for the coffee cozy. And for those of you who don't know, I love turtles. I have a huge collection of turtles. I've only made about five of them. I only kept two of two and a half of them. One's not completed. <laughs> um, I have a little ninja turtle and I showed that in a video and I have a unicorn turtle that I made and um, you can't see that here but sitting over right over there-ish is my unicorn turtle. Um, I made 
three years ago I made a Ninja Turtle diaper bag and then I made a little tiny Ninja Turtle to put on the zipper pull. Um, and then I made the first tiny Ninja Turtle that I made is hanging on my light over there. And, um, and then I made a Spider-Man turtle and I made a regular turtle. So that was my five and then I have a half a turtle. It's actually just a head. I don't have the body done at all. Just the head done. Um. So I, I cannot wait to get started on that. I, I will, I always do what's in the pattern. Always, always, always. I always do the pattern first and then I go and I do whatever. So, um, the yarn that I had left, um, from my previous boxes and the, the, um, anemone skein from Savvy Skeins, I'm going to eventually I don't know how I'm going to determine when, but I'm going to eventually make a friendship bracelet with all of the yarns that I have. So probably right now I will have four yarns. So I'll have the Savvy Skeins, and that was my first one. And then I have October's box, September's box, Leather Company box. That was the Coral. And then I have October's box, that was the Autumn, and this box, that's the Turtle. Um, and I will use those. I probably won't incorporate the knit crate boxes because I haven't used the knit crate yarn yet. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to use for that. I'm not sure that I'm going to even use the green. I will use the purple. I will use it for something I don't know what for. So, with that being said, that's my Leather Co. box. And I am so super, super excited about it because it's turtles. <laughs> Okay, so I posted my a picture of the, um, I don't know how to insert pictures into my video. If I did, I would insert a picture, but I don't. So, um, I posted a picture of the cowl, the hat, and the fingerless gloves, um, on my Instagram, and somebody, one of my... Instagram slash Facebook friends had requested um, child size hats. A child size hat in teal ombre. She liked the ombre. She asked for teal. Or no, she liked the ombre and I showed her the ombre that I had, which happened to, I just happened to have teal in the pile of ombre that I have. So I'll show you what I came up with, or what I did. She hasn't gotten back to me, and, you know, um, that's okay. So this is a child size cable hat. That's the same pattern that I used for the other one, except I did a half, a half double crochet here instead of a double crochet. And then here's a child's divine hat. Now, I did um, the regular, and then I did the first row like it said to do, and then I did a one, two twos, two threes, and the rest fours to get the size. And this took me kind of a long time. Um, they actually both did because I had to remath the, the cables. Um, so, anyway, I don't have any projects currently other than, um, kind of Thanksgiving prep type stuff. I'm trying to, um, get some stuff organized and the house kind of clean and, um, I do have a coat to make and yarning. Oh, one more thing. This guy got clothes. <laughs> now, mom said the shirt was kind of short for him, which I would have to agree, but his mom likes him, so that doesn't... His hair just... He looks like it gave himself a haircut. I did the haircut, and then I ruffled his hair, and it just... The knots in the hair just kind of so I had to pull it down and so his hair is kind of weird so anyway he got 
he's going to be going home next week. But he got clothes. So he got pants and a shirt. And he's... So he's going to go home next week. And... Whoops. <laughs> Dang it. And she's going to... She got a nose. And she's going to go home next week. So. This is the Tall Annie pattern by Laura Tag. Um, yes, I've tagged it a few times. Um, this is actually not coral ombre. It is coral. I mean, the color is coral. But it came in, I want to say, the Pixie, uh, Mandela Pixie. Is, I think that's where this is from. I'm not positive, but I think that's what, what color that it came from. And so I haven't done anything else with with the moth guy yet. Um, when I did the, the boy's hair, I had to take part of the leg apart. Um, but that's okay, because I was just kind of seeing if that's what I wanted to do for the toe. So I'm not, I'm not freaked out about it. So anyway, I think this is my shortest update video so far. But like I said, I have stuff around the house to do. I, uh, and a coat. <laughs> um, so I will talk to you all later. Happy yarning. Bye.